I just farted and it smells horrible. <laughs> Chelsea's not pleased with my booty scent. Lord. Anyway, we have been chilling. Well, Chelsea's been doing work, like art all day. I have been chilling like a mofo. It's Sunday, so I'm sad. It's Sunday night to be exact. AKA it's eight o'clock, AKA it's my bedtime. So I'm about to pack my lunch for tomorrow and go to bed. Ugh. I hate the weekend because it's just a reminder that a new week is about to begin. <laughs> hey guys. Oh. I'm so like, I feel so horrible. I'm gonna cry and I'm sorry. I'm really trying not hard not to, but like I feel so like helpless right now. Like so ugh. this morning I was just I was thinking about you know that I have to start paying my student loans next month, like November 15th is when my first payment of student loans is due. And I was kind of calculating like the amount of money that I have currently and the amount of money that I'm gonna get in my next paycheck that's the, the next paycheck I have that's before my payment is due and I barely have enough to pay the minimum amount on my student loan I just feel so frustrated and just really annoying because it's so guys also not like I'm trying to save my money as well so I can go to Korea and at this point I feel like I have no ability to 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 save anything and it also doesn't help that currently we're about to go into this holiday season so there's going to be lots of days that I'm not working due to like Thanksgiving break Look, we just had fall break la the week before last, so I didn't work it for an entire week. So this next paycheck that I get isn't going to be very much. And so that's why I'm not going to have a lot, you know, left over after I pay my student loans. And then right after this break, like we have a few days off, like a few like holidays, like in November, like coming up and there's like staff development days and stuff, like days where I'm only able to work like four days a week versus working five days. And then in December, we have a whole two weeks that I won't be able to work because of Christmas break. And it just feels like, just based on like the calculations that I came up with this morning, just looking on it, based on, you know, when I'll be able to work, like there's really, no way I can save money at all. Like, I'm basically working and all my money's gonna go to pay off these loans and stuff. I just, just feel really annoyed. And so I thought, you know, okay, I'll get a second job. And so I was talking to my manager back at Rue and she was still hiring me back, like at least for seasonal. So at least, you know, while we're having all these breaks at least I'll have another job where I'll have some sort of you know small income coming in but you know, I, I probably won't be working very much because when I'd be in a seasonal position and typically seasonal people don't barely they barely work but I don't know maybe it'll be different because I'm me and so maybe she'll work me more than versus other like how she typically works seasonal people I don't know but I mean, it won't be a whole lot. I really don't anticipate to work a whole lot. Like, if I'm lucky, maybe a day or two a week. And they're tip usually four hour shifts, so maybe at least eight hours a week, like, additionally. And so that was like, okay, that's fine, yeah. I can, you know, do that. And like, you know, I can save my Route 21 checks at least. And you know, maybe there's some hope that I'll be able to save up some money but I went to the dentist today and as you guys know I got my wisdom teeth pulled a few months ago and I 
like I went to the dentist today to get you know a regular checkup and like cleaning and done and everything and there was hundred and fifty dollars that my and that was left over that nope that my insurance wouldn't pay for because it had to be sedated longer so the amount that they originally the original estimate that the dentist office gave me the original because I had to pay like eight hundred dollars out of my pocket and then I ended up having to pay another $150 for that operation because the estimate that they gave me originally wasn't enough to cover everything. So I had just like, I paid that today and then I like after they, they today they gave me um, my like treatment plan and I have over $5,000 worth of uh, stuff that I have to get done and that's all out of pocket because my insurance doesn't cover most of it. So, like, I just feel like... <sighs> Everything just feels so impossible right now. <laughs> so that is my current struggle.